Okay, we are starting with this, reading this story called Granddad Mandela. We'll be reading uh, it, and it talks about Nelson Mandela's story. So let's get started. One day, Zazi and Ziwilin were playing at Grandma Zinzi's house when they found a photograph. It was someone they remembered very well. Look, Grandma, said Zazi. We found a picture of Granddad Mandela. Can you tell us about him again? Of course, Grandma Zinzi replied. As you know, Granddad Mandela was my father, but he went to jail when he was only 18 months old. Why did Granddad go to jail? Asked Zazi. He went to jail because, oh, when I was only 18 months old. Not when he was only 18 months old. Sorry about that. <laughs> when I was only 18 months old. So she, she missed her dad. Why did Granddad go to jail? Asked Zazi. He went to jail because he was fighting against apartheid. Apartheid was a law in South Africa that separated black people and white people and said that white people were better. Granddad was fighting for us all to be equal. You know, like we say, I love you lots like jelly tots. We are different colors, but we all taste the same. Uh-huh, says Zazi. That's what Granddad Mandela was fighting for. Did Granddad have his birthday in prison? Asked Ziwele. Yes, but he wasn't allowed to have a party. We had to celebrate it for him outside. Big Mummy still had their wedding cake, which they never had time to cut when they got married. Every year on his birthday, he would, she would bring it out, light a candle, and say a prayer. Grandma, where were you when he was in prison? asked Ziwilin. I was left at home in Sowitu with Big Mummy and my sister Zinani. Did you like it? asked Zazi. It was hard. We weren't allowed to live in the same place as white people, and our houses, schools, and hospitals weren't as good as theirs. And when black people and people of color said it wasn't fair, the police were very harsh. But why did the white people start making everybody's lives sad? asked Zuelin. It was because white people were taught under colonization and apartheid to hate, said Grandma Zinzi. They were taught that they were better than black people. Did they make their lives sad too, asked Ziwilin? Yes, Grandma Zinzi replied. Every time Big Mummy sent us to school, the apartheid police would come and throw us out. Even if we changed our names and pretended we were someone else, they would still find us. So when I was five and Zinani was six, some people, some kind people helped us to go to boarding school in, in Swaziland. We only came home in school holidays to see Big Mummy and the rest of the family. That's sad, said Zazi. I know, you know, Zazi, said Grandma Zinzi. You don't have to be too sad. Do you know what Big Mummy used to teach us? She said, I don't want to see you cry. Because when the enemy, then the enemy will be happy. I want you to see you strong. You must hold your head up high. Big Mummy and Granddad Mandela were strong people because of how they grew up. I've got a question about that, said Ziwilin. Where was Big Mummy born? Winnie Wandela was born in Bizana, which is near the wild coast. She was born amongst the Pondo people, who produced the best warriors in history. Granddad comes from the Thimbu people. They are both from royal families. Oh, said Zazi. Royal? Yes, said Grandma Zinzi. Where did Granddad Mandela grow up? asked Zazi. Well, said Zinzi, he was born in Mveso, but he grew up in Kunu. I've been there, says Zazi. I know you have, said Grandma Zinzi. When he grew up, Granddad lived in a traditional home made out of clay with a thatched roof. He had to get water from the river and cook in pots on the fire. But the lessons that he learnt from his elders made him the man he became. A man who was able to forgive all the people who made him and his family and his people suffer. Did Grandad go to school like us? asked Ziwilin. Yes, 
said Grandma Zinzi. When he was older, he studied law. He wanted to learn how to bring about justice in South Africa. What is justice? said Zewelin. Justice is about people's rights. It means you have to ask, what is right for everybody? What is fair? Granddad didn't think what was happening in South Africa was fair. Were other people wanting justice too, said Zewelin? Yes. Granddad wasn't the only one who felt that apartheid was wrong, said Zinzi. The whole world said that it was evil. And black people did not like the way they were treated. When white people would tell them that they weren't good enough, they wanted to fight. They thought if Granddad and Big Mummy could fight and even go to prison to get justice, then they could too. Why did the government make Granddad stay in prison for so long? asked Siwalin. They kept him in prison because they were hoping that the longer he stayed, the more tired he would become, and he would give up fighting for his people. But he didn't. And they hoped that people would forget him and what he stood for. But they didn't. Big Mummy, me, and many other people carried on fighting for freedom. All of these people kept Granddad's spirits alive. Did Granddad have a plan to escape from prison? asked Ziwalen. No, he never tried to escape, said Grandma Zinzi. He wanted to be in South Africa to fight for his people. No one was going to force him to leave his country. It was important to him that people knew he was there. He knew that out of prison, all over the world, people were pushing harder and harder for him to be free. And eventually, Free Mandela. Granddad was released. He was sentenced to a life in prison, and then he was released. Were people happy, asked Zazi. People were so happy, said Grandma Zinzi. They were lining the streets when we drove out of the prison gates. It took Granddad a long time to get back to Soweto because all the streets were blocked. It was raining heavily, but people were sleeping in the streets just so that they could see him. There was singing and dancing. Everyone was so happy. Everyone, said Ziwalen. All South Africans, black and white, said Grandma Zinzi, were happy that he was freed. What did Granddad do when he became president? So after he got out of, after he got out of pre uh, prison, he was elected president of South Africa. The first thing he did was to unite all South Africans. He reminded us that we were equal, and this is what we were fighting for, for everyone to live side by side. No one person was better than the other. He made sure that everyone could go to the same schools. Everybody could live where they wanted to live. We could all go to the same hospitals. So apartheid was over, asked Zewelin? That's right. And do you know how he did it? He got his enemies to sit with him around a table. That must have been hard, said Zazi. But Grandma Zinzi had a question for them both. Do you know what Ubuntu means? She asked. I think I used to, said Zazi. This is what we believe as African people. We believe in treating people the way we want to be treated. This is what inspired Granddad to fight for his people and what helped him to forgive his enemies, too. Do you miss Granddad Mandela? asked Zewelin. Of course, said Grandma Zinzi. But I know a good way to remember him. Do you know what volunteering is? Yes, said Zazi. We volunteer to say we are... We care about everyone to make them feel happy and not make them feel like they don't belong anywhere. That's right, Zazi, said Grandma Zinzi. Do what? Do you know what that means? What? said Ziwilin. You are both doing the same thing as Granddad Mandela. Y colorín colorado este cuento. Se ha acabado. De Granddad Mandela. Hasta la próxima, amigos.